top three ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, in this episode we will try to show you not an excessive number of ghosts trapped on the video, but a precise selection of the three most incredible and freaking scary cases for this week. And if you are new to the channel and you like our work, press the subscribe button, leave a like and press the bell to stay updated. So let's start with the third position of our ranking. This house is haunted. The video we are going to talk about dates back to a story that happened in early 2011. A young woman named Steph recently lives with her roommate in an old apartment in New York, a building that also has a basement. On a quiet Wednesday evening of February 2nd around 11.30 p.m. Steph films his friend Michelle playing the drums for fun, but something really scary appears in the background. Yeah, it's for Stan. Hi, Stan. I won't break them. <laughs> Michelle's getting like really good at the drums. So you might have some competition when you get back. <laughs> we love you. We'll see you soon. While filming the carefree evening, Steph frames the basement closet with the door open and for a few seconds a translucent figure of a young girl can be glimpsed looking towards one of the inside walls of the closet. This video and two others about what happened, were published on Steph's YouTube channel entitled Steph's Basement 89, after which no other video was published, a thesis that confirms the credibility of what happened. Although the images are not of quality since the video was shot 11 years ago, there seems to be no trace of tampering or editing of the image pixels. Shao's getting like really good at the drums. So you might have some competition when you get back. <laughs> we love you, we'll see you soon. Um. Basically, I think my house is haunted, which I know sounds silly and I still feel kind of silly saying it, but I guess I shouldn't. Um, we figured out that about the start of the new year of this year was when things started to happen. Um, it's mostly in the basement, but... Right? Did you or are you fucking with me? Up to date, we have no news of Steph, nor of what happened next. Based on our experience it is easy to assume that Steph and his roommate have left the apartment and following our searches on the net we found a recent photo of a rented apartment with basement that looks just like Steph's basement from 2011. And you? What do you think about this case? Let me know in the comments. The Echo of Pain The story behind the video in position 2 is so sad that I prefer to tell it to you in the words of the person who posted that testimony. Published at the end of November 2021 on the Reddit forum by user Miss Nikki 6969 the video shows a probable contact with a deceased relative. Here is the story, she tells us. So, just under two years ago, our grandson passed away from cancer at the age of 8. Due to his oldest daughter being an absolute tool, we never found out he passed until a week later by a relative from another province. Ever since then, my husband has had his heart ripped out by his own daughter and was banned from being at the funeral. So in my own way, I tried to help him gain some closure by using an SLS camera to verify the size of the entity the camera was picking up. My husband sat in his chair, holding one of the only things we had left of our grandson, the baby sock, and as he did this, a child-sized SLS entity appeared where my husband normally keeps the sock. I wholeheartedly believe our grandson has been and still continues to visit us, but unfortunately, it doesn't help the pain go away due to the circumstances of how his own daughter decided not to even tell him that his own grandson passed away. I was happy to have captured this image BC I've gone over this area many times with the SLS and only when my husband holds the sock, does the entity show up. We have already seen in other cases how the echo of pain recalls the presence of some entities, is it really the figure of the grandson so loved by the grandfather that appears floating in the air every time the grandfather tightens his sock? We don't know. The Big Shadow Figure This week's top ranked video was posted by user, Bonitoez on the Reddit forum about a year ago in January 2021. The woman tells this story. Unknown voice, unknown entity. A couple of years ago, I gave my old iPhone SE to my grandkids. They like to take a bunch of pics and videos, so I go through it to delete stuff to make sure they have the space. 
I was going through their phone on Christmas Eve 2018, when I came across this video. The audio was the first thing that caught my attention, and after listening to it a few more times I was super creeped out and posted it to Facebook. One of my friends on Facebook noticed the black figure that appears right after the voice says I'll be fine. My grandbaby and I were the only two home that day. My husband's grandmother had lived with us for almost six years before she passed, and the foot of where her bed was is where the figure appears. The voice on this recording does not sound like his grandma, and the black figure looks way too big, she was a tiny woman. Coincidentally this video was recorded the day before grandma's birthday. Nothing strange ever happened there for me to even suspect anything. This video shook me to my core. I've always been a believer but for me this is absolute proof of the paranormal, because I know this video is real. Unfortunately it shook me so much that we moved out of there two weeks after I found this, and after two years I still won't go over there by myself to get the rest of our stuff. I am hoping to get it done this summer then maybe have some investigators come. I am definitely going to have it spiritually cleansed before letting anyone else move in. Can anyone tell me what that figure could possibly be? After two years this still creeps me out, and I still think about this almost every day. While the child plays with the phone, a very large dark figure is clearly seen behind him. From what was also stated by the woman, at the time of the video, no one noticed this figure. Let's listen to the captured EVP. It is not easy to understand if the EVP is just the sound of the TV or is it a completely different sound. Surely the figure who appeared must have aroused a lot of fear in the homeowners, so much so that they wanted to leave the house. What are your thoughts on this case? Before saying goodbye, I wanted to show you another video, look carefully. If you did not know it yet, it is a television commercial, impressive right? We showed it to you to underline that there is a lot of fake material around the net and although it is sometimes really difficult to distinguish it, we try our best to bring you an increasingly refined product. I'll meet you next week, always follow us on our social channels and on our official Eread Mystery YouTube channel, good night.